Welcome to match highlights from this long-awaited Midland Football League game, Worcester City v Starport Swifts. And there's a big surprise for Worcester City as Kevin Tudor returns to the team and Sam Bowen makes a start up front. While for Starport, Quinton Townsend makes a return. Here come the team, Worcester City in blue and white and the Swifts in their Aston Villa 1980s kit. And a special mention to the groundsman for this quality service today. And it's City to get us underway, kicking from left to right. And it's Swifts moving forward. Oh, and Tudor's gone straight through the back of the attacker. He's down, he's gone down. Tudor's claiming he hasn't touched him, but the refs haven't done of it. And after a 39-year absence, Tudor's straight in the book. And unfortunately, the players can stretch him off. Danks and Townsend debating who's going to take the kick. Looks like Danks. It is Danks, 1-0. Mark Danks with the opening goal for Starport. And City are looking to get back into the game. The bench don't look too worried at this stage. Smith down left. Puts the ball through to Bowen. And Bowen on the edge of the box. One on, Sam Bowen with the equalising goal. Swift one, City one. A deep, deep into added time. City are looking for the win. Vincent is calling for the players to push forward. Yes, they're going forward. Could it be a fairy tale ending? Free kick comes in. It is 2 1, City have done it. Dan Jasseff with the winner. They think it's all over. It is now. And the team celebrating thanks to the Green City Home Banner. 